Hi guys, my name is Tito. I'm 27 and I have sickle cell anemia. Right now it's September and September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, so I'm here to just basically help raise awareness. That's what I do. Um, I have a few pages on social media where I just share my story of life with sickle cell and just try and get people to just do a bunch of stuff to help people with sickle cell. Whether that's the conversation or like giving blood or... Don't worry, we'll get into it. Sickle cell is a condition of the blood. It's genetic, one where in my body there's been a mutation that has led to my red blood cells, instead of them being the typical circular shape that you'd find in a normal, like healthy adult, they're crescent. Um, and with this comes like a whole range of complications. So because of the shape of my cells, um, they don't flow easily through the blood vessels in my body. They get stuck together and they can't carry that much oxygen. So it causes quite a bit of pain, um, depending on where it gets stuck, which is often referred to as a sickle cell crisis. Um, this prevents the flow of blood and oxygen and nutrients from reaching different areas of my body. Um, and that pain is, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. It is painful. I do not, as in, I wouldn't even wish this on my worst enemy. Because of the way my cells are shaped, them being the crescent as opposed to the typical circular healthy red blood cell, they can't hold, it can't hold as much oxygen, um, meaning I just don't have as much oxygen in my body. I have less energy to do things, things which people won't even think twice, like me, I could be drained. That's just the anemia, the fatigue that comes with sickle cell. Sickle cell can result in so many different symptoms and complications and just think of it like this. Sickle cell is a condition of the blood, so wherever the blood flows in your body, a complication can arise. As I said earlier, sickle cell is a genetic condition, meaning that it can only be passed down from parent to child. Um, in my case, in every case as well, you inherit one copy of the sickle cell gene from each parent. My, both my parents are AS and myself, I inherited both copies of the sickle cell gene, SS, and that led to the full-blown condition. The way to find out if someone has sickle cell is through a test typically done when a child is born, especially if it's a black child, as I don't think I mentioned earlier, but it's a condition that affects mainly people who are black or from an African Caribbean descent. Um, so yeah, so sickle cell is normally tested at birth. Um, however, I know for a lot of people in the older generation, they find out much later that they had sickle cell because that technology wasn't really around back then. Um, so in order to find out whether you have sickle cell, or even if you carry the sickle cell gene, which we need to find out because we can't pass this on. Like again, guys, it's not cute, it's not fun. Um, so the way that we find out is by having a blood test. This can be arranged through your GP. Um, in London, there are also quite a few different sickle cell clinics that you can go to to find out your genotype as well. When it comes to sickle cell, it's something which, with enough information, it can be prevented. And prevention is always better than cure. Um, there currently isn't a universal cure for sickle cell and to be honest with what is available some people might seem might deem it risky I know in my case I do um, so yeah always prevention over cure so a way that you can make sure that you stop sickle cell from spreading to the next generation is by finding out your genotype if you're in a relationship if you're engaged if you're married even if you're single please I'm begging you to go and find out what your genotype is this is such important information and if as in when I say I wouldn't even wish sickle cell on anybody let alone someone that you love like your child so if you can do what you can now to prevent that from happening please do. Information, knowledge, prevention is better than cure. There's much oxygen in my body and I just can't do things as easily as a typical... It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> But yeah, you guys probably gonna watch this back a bit. This girl's all weirdo. Who did I invite into my house? It's a nice house, by the way. <laughs>